guys, what's up? It's Anna, as you guys know. Today I am coming to you from a new setup. Um, I am currently halfway done redoing my room, as you can kind of tell. And so I thought that it would be fun to do the booktuber or book tag. I guess it's like just a book tag, but I'm going to call it the booktuber book tag. And I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, yeah, so let's get into it because I hope you guys want to know about me and my reading thing because... I like reading, and reading's cool, and I do a lot of book tags, but I mean, that's okay, right? I love book tags. I really need to do more reviews and things, but I am currently reading The Program by Suzanne Young, and it is amazing. I love it so much, and I cannot wait to review it when I'm done. I am on page 297, and I started it Tuesday, so... Question number one is, do you have a certain place at home for reading? I just like reading on my bed because it's a lot nicer. You can just lay out and read and kind of get lost in the book. And it's really nice because then if you fall asleep, you can fall asleep, which has not happened to me ever. But, you know, you could if you want. Um, yeah, and then when you're done reading for the night and you're too tired, all you have to do is set your book down and go to bed. So I really like just reading on my bed. Question number two is bookmark or a random piece of paper. Um, I tend to use both. But usually I'm using a bookmark if I can because it's a lot nicer. But if I just randomly need to stick a bookmark in, I'll use a random piece of paper. Question number three is can you start reading anytime you want or do you have to stop at a certain page, chapter, part, or etc.? Um, usually I tend to stop at a certain chapter or a part. So like I have, I can't just stop reading randomly because then you're like in the middle of something and you just stop, which I can't do. Usually I'll tend to like wait till the end of a chapter or the end of a part where there's like a little piece of section that is blank. Just so I have all that information in and I can pick that in and it's not just a random stop. And then because when you tend to stop in the middle of just randomly, you'll just forget what's going on. And I can't do that. I have to have like all my information and then start at a certain part. So that's what I do. Question number four is, do you eat or drink when you're reading? Yes, I do. Sometimes I don't. It just kind of depends on if I'm hungry, like if I'm reading through breakfast or lunch or dinner. Yeah, I'll eat then. But I usually don't because I'm scared that I'm going to get food on my book. But then most of the time, I'm just like, eh, you know what? Let's just, let's just eat and drink while I'm reading. It's nice. It's leisurely. And I'll do that. So that's what I end up doing because I am very confused person. Question number five is can you read while listening to music or watching TV? Um, it depends on the situation. If I'm really into a book, I kind of drowned out it. But if I'm just starting to read, I tend to like to read in silence because then I'm not like interfering and I'm not like hearing words from the TV or the music and I'm like getting it in my mind while I'm reading. I don't like doing that as much. I mean, yeah, sometimes I will, but I tend to like to read in silence. Question number six is one book at a time or several at the same time. Um, I try to stick to one book, uh, relating back to the question about stopping randomly. If you just stop randomly and pick up another book, um, I can't do that because I like to like know the story. Then by the time I'm done with that story, then I'll pick it up. It's also an initiative to finish the book because if I like get a book, at the bookstore and I'm like oh my god I want to read this but I'm in the middle of another book it gives me initiative to finish that book and then start the others question number seven is reading at home or everywhere and I read everywhere I'll bring my book to the grocery store or just on long car rides or I even bring it to like baseball games when my school was like we had to go to a baseball game at my school for a field trip I brought my book they're all on my phone anyways, so it's kind of easy to get to them if I want them. I could just like download a PDF version and read it on my phone, but I haven't recently. I like to get the book version, but if I am just sitting down randomly, I'm like, oh, I'm so bored, I'll go online and download a PDF version of my book if I didn't bring it. Usually I bring my book everywhere, but if I don't, then I have the PDF version. So I love to read everywhere, just anytime I can, just read because it's so nice, it's, it's a great thing to do, and I love it a lot. Question number eight is reading out loud or silently in your head, and um, 
I'm a lot better at reading in my head than I am out loud. I actually tend to slur my words or I read really fast out loud and then it just turns into a big jumbled mess. It's not the best thing. Like, yeah, I like to read fast so I can read fast in my head and process information faster. But when I'm reading out loud, it takes me like several seconds to get it and it's really annoying. So I like reading silently in my head. Question number nine is do you read ahead or skip pages? No, I try not to skip pages because then it's messing up the story for you. But I do sometimes read ahead to see what's going on. If I'm at a really suspenseful part and I'm like, oh my god, does this character survive? Then yeah, sometimes I read ahead to see, which is not smart. I need to stop it. And usually in the last book in a series, I like to read the last page. Don't do it. That's how I spoil the Legion for myself. I don't recommend it. Don't try it. Don't do it ever because it's bad and I should not have done that. And don't do it. Just stick away and just read the book as it goes and don't skip pages and don't read ahead because it ends up bad. Question number 10 is breaking the spine or keeping it new. I try to keep my books in as mint condition as possible. That usually doesn't happen and it turns out not so great. But if I can help it, I definitely try to keep my books completely new and without breaking the spine. The last question, question number 11, is do you write in books? No, I do not write in books. Um, I don't, I mean, I guess I could if I wanted to make a book, like, video of it and I had a pen and I just wanted to quickly scribble something down. But usually, no, I don't write in books at all. I haven't ever, unless you count the books at school that you write in, your name. But no, I don't write in books. I just don't like it. Like I said, I like to keep them in mint condition. And so that's what I do there. That is the BookTuber book tag. I hope you guys liked it. I'll see you next week. Comment below what you do when you read and things. I'd like to know. Give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. If you feel like it. Um, Yeah, so I'll see you guys next week. Maybe I will do an Ask Anna. So if you want... To tweet me questions, just do hashtag Ask Anna and tag me on Twitter and I will reply to your questions in a video. Um, maybe, I guess it depends on how many questions I get, but if you want to, just do that. Um, tell me how you have been in the comments. I'd love to know how you guys have been. And bye! I'll see you next week. What am I doing? That was really bad. Bad. Really bad exit. I'll have to work on that. Bye.